Can our mouths taste meals that melt the mind? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. You never know what we got up our sleeves because within these sleeves lies the ability to reach into a wormhole and pull out bizarre foods from alternate universes as well as other surprises. Link, is this your card? No, but Rhett? Not quite as smooth. Is this your card? That's a business card. <laughs> Catalina Transportation Services. It's a, it's a taxi service. Are you thinking about going Catalina somewhere? Island. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for <laughs> Multiverse Munchies. Now according to Quilted Multiverse hold, theory. Hold on, actually that was my card. Can I have it? And I'll take the cab card too. Right back in the sleeve. According to Quilted Multiverse Theory, every possible event is occurring infinitely many times in nature. Thus, there are infinitely many universes resembling ours, but different in notable ways. And the best way to prove that is for us to travel to alternate universes and bring back their snacks, which is yeah. what we've done. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have started drinking right there. <laughs> All the food mm -hmm. we're gonna be tasting today does not exist in our reality but it does exist in another twisted reality. So as always, we're going to assess if each snack item uh, is from a delicious dimension or if it's a snack offension. Now, in our, good, that's good timing. In our universe, we have <laughs> Dr. Pepper, but that mysterious. Oh, there it is. Yeah, what's my favorite? Especially the diet version. Uh, this mysterious 23 flavored soft drink that went to medical school does not exist <laughs> in an alternate universe. Instead they have Dr. Dr. Salt. Salt. Look at this. And now introducing Diet Dr. Salt. Tastes just like the real thing. What's the slogan? I don't know, but if we'll it's find out. Yeah. But in this More universe, like. everybody is rude and annoyed about any perceived slight. Salty. Huh. Why so salty? And uh, Josh, do you know anything about this? Have you pre tasted? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, taste I assume it. it's salty. I love it. It's quite salty, yes. Okay. I see that there's. Um, what do you call the perforations in the in the top of a uh, a salt shaker? Because that's holes. happening here. Salt holes. Yeah. So you just. I think you call it pouring holes. I mean, you can. Uh, I think you just go straight. You don't have to open it. Mmm. Mm. Wow. It's salty and sweet. Oh. It's it. It still tastes entirely like Dr. Pepper. You wanna try the diet? Uh, but it's. Let's see if it tastes more like It's very salty. And it went down my neck, and there's some like pooling in my belly button right now. <laughs> I don't think it tastes like Dr. Pepper. You're, um. Ooh. That's surprising. <laughs> it's that got. Did, that didn't happen when I. Got did a little it. eruption. I wonder why. Happened. It tastes exactly the same as regular Dr. Salt. I, I like will give you that. I, I like <laughs> this. I don't know what you did. Uh, I mean, I don't know what you did, Mr. Person in the alternate dimension, <laughs> to make this happen, but there's something, I, I kind of like the kick in the same way that I like Dr. Pepper. It's I like, like if you go like, surfing, yeah, and you almost drown right. while drinking a Dr. Pepper. Yeah, you kind of, I did this all the time as a child. I don't do it as much as an adult, where you kind of mistime your breaths while swimming. You know, it's breathe just like, under it's the like, water. Ooh, you got, you got to, you got to get completely out. But you know, but you like it. But I do. I, I, I like that. I should start doing that again. I don't more. like Dr. Pepper. Uh, making it salty makes it better. So we're saying, Dr. Salt, delicious, delicious dimension. dimension. In our universe, one of the best snacks you can have is the Reese's peanut butter cup. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like if you're not familiar. Yeah. Also, me. you should really try it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, in an alternate universe, however, uh, they don't have Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. They have Reese's Peanut Butter Athletic Cups. Look at that. Anybody wanna play baseball? I do. Also in this universe, uh, tampons are made from Twix bars. <laughs> um, so uh, you're gonna... Just put it, yeah, put it in it, there. It's a functioning cup. I mean, there's peanut butter in there and nuts. There's about to be more of that. Okay, just make, give it a, let me, just, let me hold the front. Just gotta give it a shove. It takes two men give it a shove. to get a cup into a jock strap. All right, now try that on, Link. 
See if it, we just want to make sure that it. I'm just gonna do it over my action. pants because. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh. This is 970 calories. I'm gonna put it over my shirt too. Yeah, right over the shirt. Yeah, how's that feel? Feel protected? Um, honestly, it's not. It's not. It needs to be hollowed out more <laughs> okay. on the inside. Yeah. It's a. Uh, if you could just, can you reach in there and? Yeah, I'll take it out. Yeah, why don't you take it the, out? The problem is that the back oh. is not, just. You need me to eat. Can you consume some of that you in order to, to create a space? You need me to eat some of this to create room for your balls. Yeah, my entire junk, really. Okay. Okay, see, I can do this. Well, hold on, but see, the whole thing is about to crack, so let me cradle it. Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> ow. <laughs> Does that hurt? I didn't tell you to cradle don't, it. Don't, 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 just, 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 just go uh, easy. Uh, uh, go so, easy. Uh, 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 go easy. I don't want it to break through and just go into my palm. <laughs> if that was a knife, I'd I mean, have lost a finger. How much room do you really need? None, really. Okay. I mean, well, this okay. Here, here, okay. Hold here. on, I want to bite here, it. Hold on, put it back in there and let me see. Let me, let me see. I think this might be a way to test it. All right, ready? Just. I mean, I'm not gonna hit it. I'm not gonna hit it that hard. It's hey, you're, you're you're protected. You're protected. <laughs> All right, ready? It doesn't have a. Yeah, hold on. It's not how you're protected. It works. Just look, make eye contact with me. <laughs> it does not hollow out, man. Did it, did it break? Did it break? It's not a. It's not a. Oh my oh. god. Yeah, look at that. Look, he the cracked it, man. He cracked the whole thing oh. open. Oh, look at that! Look inside! Look at that! Look at. Give me that part. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Oh gosh. Did you say crotch? Mm. Oh, crotch. This is good. It gives you something to do in the dugout. It wasn't easy. <laughs> Link, go in at third. Oh wait, he's eating his cup. <laughs> mm. I was so bored in the dugout. Reese's Peanut Butter Athletic Cup. Delicious, Delicious dimension. dimension. Mythical Beast, are you ready for a big announcement? Because we have a big announcement. Today, hey, we, we are launching a product that many of you have been requesting for quite a while. We have it for you to experience. The official Mythical Coloring Book exists. Here it is, this thing is awesome. It's packed with homages oh, to all of your favorite mythical moments, characters, curiosities. Look at this thing. Mm -hmm. There's the GMM set. I'll show you, the, you know, it's got, we're still good. We're still good. And this is the I'm on vacation. There, there's. There's there's lots of magic in here. I'll just give you a oh, quick fluttering. Sneak peek. Yeah, okay, so we teamed Ooh. up with our friends at Fantoons to bring you this incredible illustrated journey all into the world of mythicality that you can now bring to life with your own colorful creativity. We're very proud of it. We think you're gonna love it. We can't wait to see how you bring all this to life with color. Coloring, it's not just for kids anymore. You can pre-order this collector's item now through November 8th if you wanna receive it before Christmas. Mythical.com, order up, gobble, gobble, gobble. Wow, okay, it's not for Thanksgiving. Yeah, I know, it's, they're gonna just gobble it they're up. They're gonna gobble it up. Okay, yeah. now, you know I love me some hot and flaky chicken pot pie. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. in another slightly different universe, pie does not even exist, so they have chicken pot cake. And that's what this is. Chicken pot cake. Now let's, let's switch this up so that uh, you, know, you can slice into this thing. Be careful when you grab a knife by the blade. And uh, this thing is soft, man. My knife got so wet going in there. <laughs> and then, and oh gosh, it, it's basically. I chicken. wish you could smell what's coming out of this cake. It smells like chicken noodle soup inside of that. All thing. right, bring me a plate, Link. Oh gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep all this together. Okay. So it's half cake and half. That's basically just chicken pot pie ingredients. Uh, right there on top. That's your slice, enjoy. That's gonna be good. I mean, look at that. The inside is like, there is a whole little cave filled with chicken pot pie ingredients. Mm, so it, it it makes cake better for you. Mm -hmm. um, but you, you can still celebrate. It gives you even more reason to celebrate because if, if you're really into pot pies, Oh, by the way, if you if you are really into pot pies, 
We're gonna do Will It Pop Pie next week, so. No, we won't. So just get ready. Yes, we will. Oh, we're going to. Do you have another fork over there? Oh, a right, spoon, we'll go spoon. First, let, let, let us eat cake. Well, I gotta get, sure. A I dink it, it and sink it. Mmm. Horrible. That's the thing that my cake, <laughs> that's the thing my cake has been missing is celery. <laughs> it's very celery forward. It actually is like one of those bites you get when you accidentally have two things on your Thanksgiving plate like cross in a way that it shouldn't. Or yeah. like, you, like, oh, they don't have dessert plates. I gotta put the dessert in a corner of my savory plate. Mm. I like to enjoy those bites. He's taking another bite, y'all. But I already know my answer. Chicken, Chicken pot, pot cake. cake. Snack mm. offension. Rhett, buddy, you love Swedish fish, don't you? I do. They're one of the best things that come out of Sweden since Stockholm Syndrome. Well, I hate to tell you. <laughs> yeah, there is an alternate yeah. dimension where Swedish fish do not exist. But don't panic, they do have sweet-ish oh, fish. Oh, sweet-ish fish. Yeah, and um, before you get really excited, let me tell you, I think there's actual fish in here that have just been sweetened. Oh. Or candied, so let's find out. I think it might be a, it might be a herring because I know that they enjoy herring in that part of the world. You think it might be? Well, I've been hearing I mean, about it. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is sticky. Oh, is it is it thick? Is it sticky? There they are. Good lord. Okay, can I have a one? You can have a two if you're taking notes. Oh. Uh, it is a herring covered in what you would expect to be on the outside of a candied apple, which I think is the candied part. Get a whiff of it. Isn't that the oddest collection of that smells? Is a, that is a strange juxtaposition. I'm gonna bite it right in its midsection, because I don't wanna bite the tail or the head, really. Dink it? Oh, you, I guess I'm just Does going. Does it matter what I bite? I don't think, I'm going, I'm going for the head. Okay, well, I'll join you. And I don't think, period. Therefore, I'm going for the head. Oh, God. Oh, my word. Oh, I got the head. It's gone. Oh. It's salty. Woo, it is and salty. sweet. <coughs> that's, this is, this is, oh. Good Lord. Oh, that's pungent. Could you imagine just eating that without the candy coating? Mm-mm. Oh, that's bad. And now I've bitten it, and it's like all in my no. molar crevices. This isn't going away anytime soon. I can't get it out of my teeth. Um, I that? don't know what part of the fish face is now in my molars. I think the whole face. I can't get it, I can't, I there's I nothing got, to swallow because it's just stuck to my teeth everywhere. I got both eyes and the mouth. Mm. Ugh. Wow. Here, this will help cover it up just a little bit. Just ah. get some of the original ones from our universe. Stick that in there. That helps. We're combining two universes, though. That's not. That's not the test. Oh no. That's not how things are. <laughs> things, <laughs> how things are done. <laughs> mm. Okay, this the, one's pretty the, funny. The I'm pretty funny. <laughs> looks absolutely. This one's pampers. pretty funny, isn't it? If I do say so myself. <laughs> I meant to say. I meant to say this one's pretty straightforward. I don't know why I said funny. <laughs> Sweetest fish, snag a mention. Oh my goodness. But as always, great job on the packaging. Mm, yeah. <laughs> You're talking to the people in the universe. <laughs> they, yeah, they do a good job of packaging. The great, pa great packaging. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Carissa from Petaluma, California. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Was that Animal Crossing? It was. Ah, well we're gonna play Animal Crossing and visit some of the mythical, cru mythical cruise islands in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land, color your way through the world of mythical with the Mythical Coloring Book. And if you order by November 8th, you can get it before Christmas at mythical.com.